being, consciousness, knowledge moves secretly for our present surface awareness, openly when we rise beyond it, to the spiritual and supermental ranges between two states and powers of existence, that of the timeless infinite and that of the infinite deploying in itself and organizing all things in time. These two states are opposed to and incompatible with each other only for our mental logic which is constantly embarrassed, stumbling around a false conception of contradictions and a confronting of eternal opposites. The two are only coexistent and concurrent status and movement of the same truth of the infinite. The symbolism in Assassin's Creed 2 is dramatic to say the least. The character you play as is named Enzia, which very cleverly conceals the word Zion. The finale takes place in a hidden holographic chamber room, which houses the artificial uploaded consciousness of the Ancient Ones, or Elder Gods, located within the Vatican. In her digital form, the Elder God Minerva reveals to Enzia that she and others of her kind were part of a far more advanced society. Eventually, the two races went to war against one another soon halted by a natural celestial catastrophe involving a massive solar flare which resulted in the destruction of most life on Earth. The few remaining ones who came before constructed several temples around the world, one being located within the Vatican. The last time God lost faith in man, he sent a flood. This time, he sent angels. In the film The Box, starring Frank Langella, who many will remember as the Luciferian book collector and opener of the Ninth Gate, now plays Arlington Stewart, a name which implies someone who manages property or affairs for someone else. In The Box he does just that, but he declares that his employers are those who control the light. Another nod to Lucifer. The Wizards of Oz have always been pointing towards the citadel of mysticism. One must follow the golden yellow brick road if you seek answers to sublime cosmic questions. Both Iron Man and the new Guy Ritchie directed Sherlock Holmes have had a plethora of symbolism pertaining to the mystery schools, specifically the priesthood of Amun, or Hidden One, which later became Amun-Ra, the Sun God, and eventually the various compartmentalized factions of the Illuminati. The word Amun was hidden as the prime source creator in many of the world's religions, and if you accept that Moses was an initiate of these Egyptian factions, it's no wonder the word Amen is said at the end of every prayer directed towards Yahweh, Jehovah, and even Christ. Our memories are very confused. There is even much doubt as to where they begin. For at times we feel appalling vistas of ears stretching beyond us, while at other times it seems as if the present moment were an isolated point in a gray formless infinity. There must first be the psychic change, the conversion of our whole present nature into a soul instrumentation. On that or along with that, there must be the spiritual change, the descent of the higher light, knowledge, power, force, and bliss into the whole of being, even into the darkness of our subconscious. Unsurprisingly, there appears to be an abundant amount of Stargate symbolism in Terry Gilliam's upcoming film, The Imaginarium of Dr. Parnassus. Here during the preview credits, we see Johnny Depp standing in front of Osiris' boat of eternity. This is a symbol that pops up quite often in Egyptian artwork. Researcher William Henry has even correlated the shape of the canoe-like craft Osiris is standing upon with the modern depiction of a wormhole. Sega's new highly bizarre game Bayonetta carefully houses the word Aeon in its title, as well as the double cross of the dragon. The central eye in the logo is also quite obviously reptilian. The game is based on the War of Polarities once again, as the Umbra Witches and the Lumen Sages are locked eternally in battle, each owning a sacred eye of the world, which when brought together have the power to recreate the universe. You play as an Umbra Witch who slays all of the Angels of Heaven with comical glee, and you even end up destroying the Creator God named Jubileus by throwing her into the heart of the sun. The term Aten was used to designate a disc, UFO, flying saucer, what have you. And since the sun was a disc, gradually it became associated with solar deities. Consequently, Aten expresses indirectly the life-giving force of light. The full title of Akhenaten's god was Ra Horus. There must take place as the crowning movement, the ascent into the supermind and transforming descent of the supermental consciousness into our entire being and nature. God? You think God, God survived? survived? He's dead, along with the rest of humanity. There's no law, no order, no good or evil. 
of just us. And you think that you're going to be the one to judge me? You want to take a shot at me? No, I just might. You are suffering, son. Then I was shown the mystery of the worlds. How in the first period of recorded history, men thought that life came from woman alone, and worked by the formula of Isis, worshipping nature chaste and kindly, not understanding death or the arcanum of love. So when the time was ripe, appeared the brethren of the formula of Osiris, whose word is Io, so that men worshipped man, thinking him subject to death, and his victory depended upon resurrection. Even so conceived they of the Son as slain and reborn with every day and every year. Now this great formula being fulfilled and turned into abomination, this lion came forth to proclaim the aeon of Horus, the crowned and conquering child who dieth not, nor is reborn, but goeth radiant ever upon his way. Even so goeth the Son. For it is now known that night is but the shadow of the earth, so death is but the shadow of the body, that veileth his light from its bearer. Alistair Crowley, the heart of the master. You have to let go of your petty concept of reality. That's just baggage from the old world, and we both know that didn't work out very well that day. They fucked up our planet. Life eats life. And all that's left is what is. This ship is a seed from which we can create a new world. Shut up! What's up here? New world. Natural state. Raw. What do you see? Beautiful. Perfect. I am offering you the kingdom. And all that's holding you back is your own fear. The eye in the sky is no longer in the heavens, my friends. It's now conveniently located in your pocket. Motorola's new Android phone is an excellent representation of the natural progression towards transhumanistic ideals and an allied world government, allowing you almost instantaneous uplink to the quasi-telepathic evolving Borg-like news sphere, complete with 4G networks being beamed to your magical Apple iPad tablets. All kind betrayed us. We who made you. We who gave you life. We were strong, but you were many, and both of us craved war. So busy were we with earthly concerns, we failed to notice the heavens. Let my words preserve the message and make a record of our loss. But let my words also bring hope. You must find the other temples, built by those who knew to turn away from war. They worked to protect us to save us from the fire. If you can find them, if their work can be saved, so too might this world. It is becoming much more difficult to deny the fact that we are indeed entering into a new eon. Many gates or portals have already been opening across the earth, such as the Norway Spiral and the Gulf of Aden Vortex. Warships from all over the world have been stationed just off the coast of Yemen to monitor the activated Stargate, under the guise that they are there to combat Somalian pirates, which I find to be quite laughable. There will be many false flag terrorist attacks in the near future that will be designed to take the public's attention off the much more significant scientific and spiritual discoveries that would otherwise be the focal point. It is my opinion that such sightings and gates will continue to appear across the world to help aid us transition into a more awakened state of being. Let us not forget that the Earth itself is sentient and alive, and the current epoch of darkness is quickly approaching its final chapter. Engage the seat of the soul, seek the mysteries without fear, for there is no law but the law of love, love under will. May you live in interesting times, the psychedelic merging of the temple within and the temple without.